I know half of you followed my tune. Maybe you didn't. To stop watching the news. Forget about CNN. That's horror international. Between the Cuomo brothers and fucking uh, little dude with the blonde haircut. They're, 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 they're in business just to scare you. Just the tone of their fucking voices. You know, Anderson Cooper, he, you know. Anderson Cooper can't break an egg to make himself a sandwich. But he can put fear into your hearts like nobody I've ever fucking seen before in my life. So CNN is off. CNN's been off in my house for months. TV is off. I'm not even going to look at that. I know my wife, she's a fucking political peeker. She'll be up there looking at the computer. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I haven't looked at anything today. Then you hit her with a question and she becomes Johnny the Parrot. She won't shut the fuck up. You got to hit her one time to talk and two times to shut the fuck up. It's, it's, it's amazing. But that's what I live with on a daily life. And my wife ain't, my daughter ain't no silent bird either. Jesus Christ, I forgot what I called her eight ball. I used to call her eight ball because it was always an unleashing. But I got to tell you something, guys. She has uh, come a long fucking way. You know, my wife took her yesterday at like 10 o'clock. Beautiful day in New Jersey yesterday. Eh, maybe in the high 40s. A little wind. But guess what? Vitamin D's dick was out. He's out there shining, just coming on you with vitamin D. What's the number one fucking thing they're telling you to take for this COVID? It's vitamin D. You could take some, get some, you know, externally from the sun. I got a rumor in this fucking house. I got a rule, and it, and it even goes for me. The rule is if it's sunny outside, and there's no penguins, you're out of the house. Even if I sit on the balcony with a notebook, I'm always trying to absorb vitamin D. And I'll tell you why, because in two months, this neighborhood is going to be a fucking, uh, it's going to look like fucking Alaska. Because even if there's no snow on the ground, just the air is going to be petrified from the cold weather. You can tell. It doesn't take a genius. I'm no meteorologist. I, didn't, I don't wear a fancy suit. My name ain't Johnny Storm. But I will tell you that fucking, it's going to be cold. And uh, there's not going to be no outside living. Uh, Patreon, you guys are probably going to love it because I'm going to send you tapes of me whacking off, taking shits, wiping my ass. It's going to be boring as fuck. I might as well video, video, video. What the fuck's the difference at this point? Hopefully if the numbers go down, we'll continue. We'll add a guest. You know, first we'll start with the fucking Zoom, work it into there. And if the numbers go down, listen, I got nothing against getting great, uh, great guests on here. And I'm in a New York City area. I got the best guests in the world, my friends. My friends will tell you the other half to this fucking saga that we went through. You know, and it was a saga. It was funny because last night I had a hard time sleeping. Just me on my own, just, uh, I took my fucking melatonin, I took my fucking, uh, Kiki, Kiki Mo, Kikoko tincture, I smoked a joint of whatever fucking killed Dean Martin, and, uh, what else did I take? That was it. By 11.30, I was tired. This daylight savings thing is, uh, you know, it, uh, you get a little tired. I had a great workout yesterday. I walked around with fucking mercy. I had a lot on my mind. I'm trying to take out what's not and what's not important. Uh, this thing, writing takes a lot out of you, especially when you're not a fucking writer. And uh, what was the fuck was I saying? I, I, I even forget what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> And I, uh, who knows what I did. I just relaxed and I, uh, got fucked up. Huh? Got fucked up. No, I didn't get fucked up this no. week too much. No, I've been good. Guys, I've been telling you that I've been good. Other times when I'm supposed to take an edible, like there's nights I'm like, wow, I didn't take an edible today. I'll tell you what I didn't have. I haven't been on that fucking Kalanapan shit and didn't make a difference in my world. I feel a lot better. I think that those pills were actually fucking inciting anxiety in me. Because I'll tell you what, I had a regular Americano cup of coffee this morning, not Americano with the hot water in it. Who the fucking throws hot water in that coffee? What's wrong with you? Diluted. What type of pussy are you? Uh, that's the shit you find at Starbucks, which 
I haven't stepped foot in and I ain't planning on going back in there. Not when you got motherfucking Dunkin' Donuts in the area and they got that liquid fucking speed, that Arab juice. That's what Arabs drink instead of fucking, what's white people drink to, to get energy? Five hour energy or Red Bull. or Red Bull. I had a Red Bull. Go fuck yourself. Why do you think these Arabs are nonstop? You, you ever go to a 7-Eleven at 8 in the morning, you come back at midnight, the same guy's there? What do you think, he wants See, to be there? Too. Fuck no, he's got nowhere else to go. He drank that fucking Brazilian bold. He can't sit down even if he wants to. That hemorrhoid will launch him, you understand me? As soon as he sits down, the hemorrhoid will launch right out of his ass. And that's the, that's the last time you'll see poor Habib at fucking Wawa or 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'm digging the Wawas in Jersey. Jersey, shout out, you bad motherfuckers. Jersey's got a lot of great shit here. Jersey really does. Listen, I make a fucking right down the corner from my house, and I got everything from Hobby Lobby to Bill's Wild Wings to fucking sun tanning places. It's like a whole new fucking world down here. And it's on my fingertips, man. I don't have to go up north anymore. You know, uh, numbers are going up up north in big ways. Uh, we all knew this was going to happen with the flu. Once you incorporate the flu, I think the first person t uh, tested positive for the flu and COVID. But again, you know what? I wear my mask. I do my social distancing. I wash my ass. I wash my balls. How about if you fucking touch your balls and you got COVID? Then you wash your hands. You don't know. Your nutsack's got COVID. Then you dip them in your girlfriend's mouth. Now she's coughing like three days fucking later. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to want to go to the doctor and say, I got COVID from sucking balls. So wipe everything. That's the great thing about fucking Manscaped. They have those little uh, pouches, the little nut wag. You put them in your wallet like an old condom. And if you're going to meet an encounter... If you feel that there's a bush and a woman is hiding in it and you want to have your helmet ready, whoop, beep, beep, you wipe the helmet off. She swallows fucking gold, no COVID, and everybody moves on happy. I don't even know how we got on this subject, but fuck it. While we're on it, wash your hands, social distance, and keep your fucking mask on. And if you don't want to put your mask on, I don't give a fuck either. I ain't mad at you. I don't get mad at the non-maskers or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Just don't come up to me and ask me for a fucking picture and stay the fuck away from me because if you don't want to wear a mask six feet, you might as well stay 20 feet from me. And 20 feet from me means I can't hear whatever the fuck you're saying, which is even better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>